All right, lovely HMV 78 RPM 12 inch shellette record. It's uh, Robert Louis Stevenson's A Child Garden of Verses. We've got the uh, the shadow, the land of nod, bed in summer. Uh, my bed is a is a boat. A good boy, read by uh, Hermione Hannon and Carlton Hobbs. Carlton Hobbs, uh, you might know, was uh, very famous on, on radio as Sherlock Holmes. Uh, this is a lovely record. Unfortunately, it's a bit warped. I did have a gentle go at unwarping it using the uh, hair dryer method, but uh, I haven't succeeded so far. I'm a bit afraid of cracking it by, by, or damaging it by overdoing it. So uh, it does play on the gramophone. It doesn't play very well on the record player. It jumps on the first couple of tracks, but uh, not too bad on this. Let's have a listen. It's a lovely record. shadow that goes in and out with me, and what can be the use of him is more than I can see. He is very, very like me, from the heels up to the head, and I see him jump before me when I jump into my bed. The funniest thing about him is the way he likes to roam, not at all like proper children, which is always very slow, for he sometimes shoots up taller like an India rubber ball, and he sometimes gets so little that there's none of him at all. He hasn't got a notion of how children ought to play and can only make a fool of me in every sort of way. He stays so close beside me, he's a coward, you can see. I think shame to stick to mercy as that shadow sticks to me. One morning, very early, before the sun was up, I rose and found the shining dew on every buttercup. But my lazy little shadow, like an arrant sleepy head, had stayed at home behind me and was fast asleep in bed. From breakfast on through all the day, at home among my friends I stay. But every night I go abroad, afar into the land of Nod. All by myself I have to go, with none to tell me what to do. All alone beside the streams and up the mountainsides of dreams. The strangest things are there for me, both things to eat and things to see, and many frightening sights abroad, till morning in the land of Nod. Try as I like to find the way, I never can get back by day, nor can remember, plain and clear, the curious music that I hear. In winter, I get up at night and dress by yellow candlelight. In summer, quite the other way, I have to go to bed by day. I have to go to bed and see the birds still hopping on the tree or hear the grown-up people's feet still going past me in the street. And does it not seem hard to you when all the sky is clear and blue and I should like so much to play to have to go to bed by day? My bed is like a little boat. Nurse helps me in when I embark. She girds me in my sailor's coat and starts me in the dark. At night I go on board and say good night to all my friends on shore. I shut my eyes and sail away and see and hear no more. And sometimes things to bed I take, as prudent sailors have to do. Perhaps a slice of wedding cake, perhaps a toy or two. All night across the dark we steer, but when the day returns at last, safe in my room beside the pier, I find my vessel fast. I woke before the morning. I was happy all the day. I never said an ugly word, but smiled and stuck to play. And now at last the sun is going down behind the wood, and I am very happy for I know that I've been good. My bed is waiting cool and fresh with linen smooth and fair, and I must off to sleep in by and not forget my prayer. I know that till tomorrow I shall see the sun arise. No ugly dream shall fright my mind, no ugly sight my eyes. 
but slumber holds me tightly till I waken in the dawn and hear the thrushes singing in the lilacs round the lawn. Right, side two of this lovely record, The Child's Gardener Verse by Robert Louis Stevenson. And the tracks on this one are uh, Singing, The Wind, Good Play, The Land of the Counterpane, Land of the Storybooks, The Swing, and the read by Hermione Hannon and Carlton Hobbs. Of speckled eggs the birdie sings, and nests among the trees. The sailor sings of ropes and things, in ships upon the sea. The children sing in far Japan, the children sing in Spain. The organ with the organ man is singing in the rain. I saw you toss the kites on high, and blow the birds about the sky. And all around I heard you pass, like ladies' skirts across the grass. O oh, wind a blowing all day long, O oh, wind that sings so loud a song. I saw the different things you did, but always you yourself you hid. I felt you push, I heard you call, I could not see yourself at all. O oh, wind a blowing all day long, O oh, wind that sings so loud a song. O oh, you that are so strong and cold, O oh, blower, are you young or old? Are you a beast of field and tree, or just a stronger child than me? O oh, wind a-blowing all day long, O oh, wind that sings so loud a song. We built a ship upon the stairs, all made of the back bedroom chairs and filled it full of sofa pillows to go a-sailing on the billows. We took a saw and several nails and water in the nursery pail. And Tom said, let us also take an apple and a slice of cake, which was enough for Tom and me to go a-sailing on till tea. We sailed along for days and days and had the very best of play. But Tom fell out and hurt his knee, so there was no one left but me. When I was sick and lay abed, I had two pillows at my head, and all my toys beside me lay to keep me happy all the day. And sometimes, for an hour or so, I watched my leaden soldiers go with different uniforms and drills among the bedclothes through the hills, and sometimes sent my ships in fleets all up and down among the sheets, or brought my trees and houses out and planted cities all about. I was a giant, great and still, that sits upon the pillow hill, and sees before him, dale and plain, the pleasant land of counterpane. At evening, when the lamp is lit, around the fire my parents sit. They sit at home and talk and sing, and do not play at anything. Now with my little gun I crawl all in the dark along the wall and follow round the forest track away behind the sofa there. There in the night where none can spy, all in my hunter's camp I lie and play at books that I have read till it is time to go to bed. These are the hills, these are the woods, these are my starry solitudes. And there the river by whose brink the roaring lions come to drink. I see the others far away, as if in far-lit camp they lay. And I, like to an Indian scout, around their party prowled about. So, when my nurse comes in for me, home I return across the sea. And go to bed with backward looks at my dear land of storybooks. How do you like to go up in a swing, up in the air so blue? Oh, I do think it the pleasantest thing ever a child can do. Up in the air and over the wall till I can see so wide, 
rivers and trees and cattle and all over the countryside. Till I look down on the garden green, down on the roof so brown. Up in the air I go flying again, up in the air and down.